Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> I'm sorry to be late. I was with the other group. And, and I'm sorry, but we are here, right? No, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. How are you? I, I was I was checking the chat, and, and you were working, huh? Yes. <laughs> okay. How's the platform doing? Are we okay with the exam? Um, exam. Yes. Not yet. Mm, I, no jet. No jet. Okay. Have, yes, Adriana. I have problems with exercise in section three, exercise okay. twelve. Okay. And some uh, questions, I think I don't understand very well. Okay. It's about indirect requests. Oh yes, that's our topic for tonight. Nice, nice. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Exercise three, you say uh, section three exercise and knowledge, knowledge check, knowledge check, but which one? The last one. The mm -hmm. last one. Okay, here. Okay. Three point twelve. Yeah. Here we are. Right. This one? Yes, I have okay. problems with number two and four. Nice, okay. We are going to do it like in, let's say, 10 or 15 minutes. It's okay? okay. Is it okay? Yes? Okay, very good. Let's begin with the topic then. Okay. Let's, let's go to the board here. Okay. And let's say, we have here, okay, uh, a question. No, let's say, give me a question. Uh, do ah. you like, um, do you like soda, for example, right? Okay, do you like soda? Or let's say, no, let's go with another one. Where is the bank? Okay. Okay. Where is the bank? Let's say, Adriana. Yes. Okay. Where is the bank? <laughs> yeah. Is there a bank near here? Say yes. Yes. Yes, there is, right? Okay. And where is the bank? Uh, is near to the police station. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, it's near to the police station. That's very good. Ah, uh, but you remember, we try to sound really polite, right? Then, if I want to sound polite, then I go and I say, excuse me, do you know, right? But do you know is another question right do you know now if i want to combine them i cannot have two questions in the same question and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the first part of the question the first question right and then do you know okay and then the linking word in this example is where that's the linking component. Now, the second part of the question is going to change from a question word order to a sentence word order. And then I will have, do you know where the bank is? is? And then I use the question mark at the end because mm -hmm. it's a question, right? Do you see how this works? Yes. yes? Okay, Are yes. we okay with this? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. It, teacher, yes, this, teacher. Is, this is the, the, the um, uh, correct form. Do you know where is the bank is, 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 is from? It's incorrect. It's yeah. incorrect. 
You can say, where the bank is. Okay. okay, you can say, where is the bank, right? Oh. Or, 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 or only, where is the bank? Yes, you can say, uh -huh. excuse me, where is the bank? But uh -huh. that sounds mm, really it's direct. Not for, okay. If you want to sound more polite, because it's part of the culture, of their culture, mm -hmm. then you go with, do you know where the bank, where the bank is? is? Where the okay. bank is? The second question becomes a sentence structure, but okay. the complete structure is a question. You see here? Okay. okay. Are we okay? okay? Yes? Yes, it's okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, we can use do you know, but we have more options. It's not only do you know, we can have mm -hmm. more options and that's what we are going to check in this moment. Okay, Would let me, me see. Where is the bank? It's okay. Yes, it's okay, very good. Would, would you mind telling me where the bank is? Yes, very perfect, beautiful, yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. You got it, right? You know mm -hmm. this before. Okay, so we have here, I wonder, that's one option. Could you tell me, that's Could the one tell. that yeah, Miss Lea used, right? Do you know that? Mm -hmm. That was our example. Can you remember, remember. okay? Where does the bank Let's is? ask, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Let's ask. Mm -hmm. We need to find mm -hmm. out, right? And then the question, I'd like to know, could you tell me, I'm not sure. Would you mind explaining? Remember that okay. after this, we need the ING, okay. right? We practice with this. Would okay. you mind explaining? So, and we have many more. These are some of them, okay? But this is for mm -hmm. you to, to see that there's not only one option. Okay, are we okay so far? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, yes. let's continue. Let's see the rules. Only for, this is a quick reminder. I know that you use this structure. I know that you know this, but we need to reinforce this, right? So let's say five rules. Rule number one, we have here. Uh, Adriana, can you please read this? Yes. <coughs> sure. If the embedded, embedded, question, question, embedded question is part of a statement, use a period and not a question mark. Okay. at the end of the sentence also, also if the question also if the question is in the present or past simple verb tense omit the auxiliary verbs do does and did and change the verb to its appropriate form as in the example bell as below. As in the example below. below yes very good we have the direct question. What time did he leave? This is past, right? And mm -hmm. then the embedded question. I wonder what is the linking word? I wonder what time he left because this is past. So we are omitting here the auxiliary and we are having like the conjugation of the verb, right? Are we okay so far? Yes. What's, uh, what's mean wonder? Uh, I, wonder. yeah. It's like, I, I imagine, I'm trying to, okay. I'm trying to guess. It's like, I wonder. Yes. Oh, I wonder. Uh, it's ah, like, I, I'm asking, uh, I'm asking I, myself. Yeah, I'm asking to uh, myself. My, like, okay, I'm to asking, myself. Yeah. Okay. okay, good. Let's move okay. to rule number two. Okay, who wants to help me with rule number two? Yes? Yes, who? Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mike, thank you. Okay. Mike? Mike, read. Read. Am I? Okay, let's say. Vanessa, can you please help me out? Okay. Thank you. If the in-bit question includes an auxiliary verb of the verb to be, reverse the positions of the subject and the auxiliary verb, as in the examples below. Okay, for example, we have here, what did he say? And then what we, what we know, right? Could you tell me what the linking word 
he said, yes. we swap the order and we go with the past without the auxiliary, past. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, direct question. Can you help me? And then you begin. I wonder if past of can, could, right? If you could help me, right? Okay, I wonder. And then we have the other one. Is he a doctor? Do you know if he is a doctor? Right, okay. Uh, rule number three, that's the, the shortest, I guess. Yes, who? Hi. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do not use a verbal contraction at the end of the sentence. Direct, yes. Okay, direct question. Where is she? Okay. Correct. Embedded question. Embedded question. Do you know where he is? Yes. And the incorrect. Embedment question. Do you know where he is? Yes, we are not using this one, right? Never, never, ever. Okay, He's, only no. This. No, mm -hmm. no, no contracted. But, but the contraction is correct in the other form. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, the, yes. Uh, the situation is at the end. When okay. you at the, okay, at the end never. Yeah. Never right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, very good. Let's see uh, that was no rule number four, right? Yes. Julio, thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay, rule four. Yes. There are questions are introduced by we weather. Weather. Weather, weather or not. Yes. And if when there is no question word in the sentences, yes, no question. Yes, that's very important. Okay, direct, direct yes, no question. Will okay. he, will, okay. Will he be there? Yes, and be the question. Do you know if he will be there? Yes. Do you okay. know whether or not he will be there? Yes. Do you know whether he will be there or not? Yes, very good. Okay, nice. And then at the end, we have rule number five. This is just for you to remember. Okay. Um, who's going to help me now? Thank you, Herbert. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Okay. The infinitive can follow a question word or whether in embedded questions as in the following example. Okay. Direct question. What should I do? Okay. Embedded question. Please tell me what I should do. Yes, what I should do. Embedded question with an infinitive. Yes. Please tell me what to do. Yes. Then you have the two options here. You know this, right? We can go with the complete, let's say, structure, or we can shorten this by using the infinitive at the end. Okay? Okay. okay. Let's practice now. This is just for you to remember, but now we're going to practice. Okay. Let's see here. Here we are. Very good. And this is a summary. Okay, you have here, you have done this because we were practicing with this before. Okay, now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. But what you're going to do is you're going to change these direct questions into embedded or indirect questions. For example, Nina, will you drive us to the party on Friday? And then could you ask Nina if, and you see you change here, she'll drive us to the party on Friday and you, you, you close with the question mark, okay? Do you have your, your, your um, direct questions? Do you have the screenshot so we can practice? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. Let's go then. Let's go. We are having groups of two or three people. Okay, I sent you the invitations. Please click on join. Thank you, click on join. Yes. 
Thank you. Okay. Have you received the invitation? Cesar, I did. Could you please confirm with me? Okay. And I didn't hear the explanation, however, uh, I heard at the end that we most transform the sentences. Yes, Mike. When you have two questions, for example, you have, uh, where is the bank? But you want to sound more polite and you begin with, do you know? Then you have where two questions. Bank? Yes. Okay. When you combine the two questions in the same structure, you cannot have two questions in one. Then the second question becomes a sentence structure. Do you know where is the linking word? The bank is and then you close with you close it with the question mark do you know okay. where the bank is that's like the dynamic of this are we better okay. yeah okay great very good okay, okay. so okay, okay. The, the, the number one the original uh, sentence is nina will you drive us to the party of friday and the uh, and the uh, um, second sugerencias? Suggestions? Suggestions. Suggestions. This. Would you ask Nina if she'll drive us to the party on Friday? This is the example. Oh, yeah. Would you ask Nina? <laughs> And or, uh, sorry, or would you mind driving, driving us to the party on Friday? Mm -hmm. I think it's correct. Okay, and the number two, number say, four. Tony, how many friends can or can I bring to your bring to your party? How many friends? Can you, could you ask to Tony how many friends can I bring to your party or to his party? Mm. Could, could you ask to Tony? Mm, not if. Uh, it like that no. also. Or you can cool. Yeah, you can say cool to us, Tony. Or can. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin, did you accept the invitation to Tony's party? Kevin, did you accept? Um. Nina. He. She. Dry, sorry, dry us to the party. But, mm -hmm. uh -huh. fine. I think it is possible in the two forms, but better ask to the teacher. <laughs> yes, it is. I, I, I was wondering if. The difference in between cool and can oh. is one is more formal than the other. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, okay. And then okay. one mm -hmm. sounds more polite than the other one. That's the only difference. Could is okay. more polite. Yeah. Can. Like the exercise can, we did yesterday. Yes, exactly. Can, you can use can with a friend. But if you're talking to your boss, 
better use could. Yeah, mm -hmm. or someone that we don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes. That's okay. the only difference. Okay. Good. Okay, thank you. So, number two. For my... No. Uh -huh. Could you ask Tony? Uh, could you ask Tony how many friends can I bring to her party? His to party. Her pa his party, his party. That's an option. Do you know the others? Yeah, I can uh, do the five. It says, Mario, are you going to give? I can see because I have like a message to say. It's in my, <laughs> my <Yeah>. screen shift. <laughs> oh. And the fourth said, Kevin, did you accept the invitation to Tony's party? And the other, Mario, are you going to? Mm -hmm. time. Okay. Could you add the number seven? Could you ask Dan where is We're coming back. Yes, we're coming back. Nice, nice. We are here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you done? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Can we check together? Yeah, right? Okay. Okay, very good. Let's see then. Let's go. I have here. Remember that we mentioned that we have like many options, right? It's not only like one option that is the correct one. Okay, here we are, yeah, here we are. Okay, number one, who wants to help me? We have here different options. Then we go with can. Can you ask? Yes, can you ask Nina or could you ask Nina, right? And then we have, yeah, if, 
should drive us to the party on Friday. Or we have the other option, whether or not she'll drive us to the party on Friday. Are we okay with number one? More options than the example, right? Okay, number two. Uh, what is the meaning of weather? Oh, weather, it's like in the con yeah, in the context is yes or no. Whether or not, if she's doing it or not. Whether works like either, either or. You have two options, right? But in this context, whether there is the positive option or not. And you use it together, whether or not. You decide if you if you go or you don't go. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, let's go with number two, and then we have here again. Can or could you ask Tony? Right. How many, How many, yeah. friends, many friends? I I can, can bring bring to his party. To his party. Are we okay with this? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. okay. Okay, number uh, teacher. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, in this uh, sentences, we use only can or could. You have more options, yes. remember? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. For, For example? Okay. Okay. Who may? Yes, there you go. Very okay. good. You have many options. Okay. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Um, number three, we go with can or could. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. Can or could uh, you ask Sophia and then you have the other option. If she's going to the party with Jeff or whether or not she's going to the party with Jeff. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you have another one which is uh, another that you have used a different structure here? Mm. Can or could? Yes, or, or, a, or a different one. Ah, oh, okay. Do you have a different one? In our case, we, we yes. use the name. For example, mm -hmm. Alma Brisa, can you ask? Uh, oh, very good, yes. Or, or Manuel, uh, uh, you want to ask? <laughs> yes, could you, you ask? Can you ask, right? Okay. Or uh, use, uh, would you? Would yes. you ask Sophia? Okay, uh -huh. very good. Whether or not she's, okay. If she's, she's going, going to, to the... or you, mm -hmm. you can use the other one, whether or not she's going to the party, right? Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. number four. Sure. Yes. If it's correct, if I say, could you ask Sophia if she will go to the party with Jeff? Yeah, sure, of course. Yes. Yeah, perfect. The only difference in that example is the context, the meaning. Remember that we have four different structures to express the future. Let's focus yeah. on the first two, will and be going to. The difference is that will, you don't have a plan, right? It's kind of a promise and you have a 0% of certainty. But when you're using be going to, it's because you have a plan. So the context is the difference, right? It's the only thing that changes, right? Okay, okay. Let's see, number four. Yeah, right? That was the one. Okay, can or could you ask Kevin if or whether or not he accepted the invitation to Tony's party? Tony's. Yeah, are we okay so far? Yes, That's okay. Okay, number five. Can you ask Mario or could you ask Mario if he is going to to give, oh my God, to, to give. give Tony a gift. To give Tony yeah, a I'm gift. sorry. Whether or not he's or, going or, to, or give. to give, or to, or to give five Tony a gift. Oh my God, five gifts. <laughs> five gifts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number six. Can you ask, or could you ask, or can you tell, or could you tell? Anne Marie, to please return my, my phone call. Okay, that, that sounds really polite, right? And then number seven, can 
or could you ask Dan where the best place to park is? You see the changes, right? Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we go to the platform? And everyone is going to help me with that exercise? Yes? Yes. Okay. But I cannot find the platform here. Has to be. Let me see. My God. Here it is. There we go. Here we are. Okay. Okay. Your turn. Uh, Alma Brisa, can you please uh, read the instructions? Read the uh, instruction and rewrite the sentences. Rewrite the sentences as indirect requests. Indirect requests. Indirect requests. In other words, ask someone to deliver sorry teacher my 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 <laughs> also i i don't see the the letter is is litter oh my uh, god okay zoom the yeah okay yeah you must give us ah, okay okay better, better right thank you, yeah. better. It's yeah. better. Thank you. okay <laughs> okay oh, okay like beginning okay okay uh, write the sentences as indirect request in, in other request. words in the red request. Yes. In other words, ask someone to deliver the message for you. Okay. Only complete the missing word and make sure you use the correct spe spelling and punctuation. Okay, very good. So, can you please okay. help me out? Okay, you see here, how many friends I can bring to this party? Tony, how many friends can I bring to the party? Okay. Could you ask Tony? Okay. Yes? Could you ask Tony? How many friends How many can friends I bring to the party? How many friends can I bring to, get uh -huh. to his party? I, right? I, I can. I can. Bring, bring, bring to the to party. The bring to his party. To his party, okay. But the platform to is his not party. Going to but the platform is not going to accept the, the answer. Why? Because you you must write just uh, can you ask? Yes, very good. That's a really really nice advice. And this is uh, what is going to happen in the exam, okay? So we okay. need to pay attention to the details, okay? Let's go okay. here, yes. Sorry, teacher. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, thank you very much. Okay, could you ask Tony, right? And that's it. Could you ask Tony how many friends? Okay, very good. Now, let's go with number two. Could you ask Sophia? Sophia, are you going to the party with Jeff? Could you tell me? Sophia, could you could tell you, me? Could you ask Sophia could if you she, she will go to the party with Jeff? But you have here? Okay. Could you ask Sophia? If she will go. To the party with Jeff. <laughs> but you have here Sophia, comma. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yes. That is one of the questions, right? The, the person who mentioned this exercise. She says two and four. Okay. Yes. Maybe, maybe we use whether or not in this case. Okay. Sophia, can you tell me if you? Going to the party with Jeff? Can you tell me if? But Sophia. Okay. Can you tell 
Amy, if you go into the party with Jeff, it's an example. Yes, but remember that you need to insert here the information, just a piece of information. Could, yes. could you ask Sofia whether, whether, uh, there are two Sofia. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there are two yeah. Sofia. And, and then Sofia you see, is happy to Sofia. Sofia. <laughs> yes. To yeah, the and, party and you pay Jeff? attention to the spelling, it's like different, right? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. could you ask uh, Sophia? Could you ask Sophia whether. Uh, but you have a comma here. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Could you ask Sofia? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Whether or not. Whether or not. <laughs> whether or not. This is Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> whether or not. Okay, you tell whether me. Whether or not. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, go to the party, I don't know. <laughs> okay, whether or not. And what yeah. is going to happen to the second Sophia? Can you ask me? Can you ask? Okay. Can could, you ask? But could you ask <laughs> Sophia? Yeah. Sofia. Sofia. Mm -hmm. Would you ask Sofia, Sofia whether or not going? Um, the, the second name Sofia is wrong in this place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe because it's the. It's the it's no idea. <laughs> No, I yes. don't get to the poem. Uh huh. Uh, Think about not. it. You know. Going to the party. Yeah. So, Tell me, Sophia. <laughs> Tell me, Sophia. She going to the okay. party. Should I? Should I like it whether or not? Or if she go, it's if not she going. going. If she going. Okay. If, if she's going, you mean, and then Sophia. <laughs> no, because it's repeat them. Yeah. With the subject. The uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. If she's going to the party with Jeff. With Jeff. Ah, uh, could you ask Sophia? If Jeff will go to the party with Sophia, <laughs> no, okay, I'm done. I don't know. If she's going <laughs> to the party. Doesn't have logic. To the party uh, with Jeff. Okay. To the party with Jeff. With Jeff. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, and then you go with. Okay, could you ask Sophia if she's going to the party with Jeff, and then? Sophia, are you going to the party with Jeff? It's kind of the conversation, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. number three. Could you ask Kevin? You say, could you ask? Yes, Kevin. Oh, no. Could you ask no, Kevin no. whether or not he accepted the invitation no, to Tony's no. party? Like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, number four. Could you ask Mario It's like this. Is he going to, mm -hmm. to give uh, 20 Mario. to give 20 a gift okay would you ask mario uh, if if is he, he he no if he is going is he going to uh, give to 20 give a, a gift if he is going <laughs> is he's going to give 20 a gift to give to give Tony, a gift. Five gifts, remember? Five gifts. Yeah. It's better five gifts. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
Uh, should I check? Yes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Great! Very good. Medal mm -hmm. for you. <laughs> you just dictate me. I is there, do is there not? Is there not? <laughs> Okay, are we okay here? Your next time. <laughs> are we okay, okay. here? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Super nice. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue. Dictation, people. Ready for the dictation? Mm. Uh, ready? We're writing. You're writing in workbooks? Yes. Okay. Do you have a notebook with you? Uh, my yes, I have a my notebook. Okay. Okay. I'm going is, to bring the notebook. <laughs> this is not going to be that difficult. Don't worry about that. Okay, I'm going to dictate you like five direct questions, and then I'm going to send you to the breakout room so you can change them into indirect uh, questions. Right? Okay. This is not going to be difficult. Number one. Okay. Yes, yes, that's okay. Okay. It's only like three minutes. This exercise is going to be only like three minutes because we need to go over the exam, right? To the instructions of the exam. Okay, okay. number one, are you British or American? Oh, British. British or American? Or American. Yes. I prefer British. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number <prefer> two. <laughs> yeah. Number two. Did you yeah. come by train? Did you come? Did by you train. come by train? Train. Yes. By train. Yes. Train. We are using our imagination, right? Okay. Oh, Number and, three. And so, yes. Train. And train. supersonic train. Just, oh my goodness. Okay. Number three. Just the bus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you speak English? Of course you so, do. It's so. like an obvious uh, question, right? <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Number four. Yeah. Have you been to Roatan before? Mm, I never go there. You, you've never been there? <laughs> no, 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 no yet. <laughs> no yet, that's uh, great. Have, that's the uh, answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you yeah. been in, in Roatan? Oh, I'm sorry? Yeah. Well, the question was, have you been in Roatan? No, no, have you been to oh. Roatan? That's the expression. Ah, have you been, been to? to? <laughs> yes. Okay, number four, right? Number five. And um, it's going to is, is it going to say have you been in Roatan? Yes, that's incorrect. Uh, the expression uh, is been to. Been to. a place is to. Yes, exactly. Have you been to Mexico? Have you been uh, to Guatemala? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last question, which is the more the most difficult one. Okay. What is your okay. name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Let's go and practice. I need indirect questions, right? Okay, same groups. One, okay. two, three, please click on join. Only three minutes because we need to explore the exam. Please click on join, click on join. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Good, good, very good. Oh, Cesar, it's going to be. I did.
Are we done? Most, we okay. must practice. Okay, okay great. The exercise is practice the questions. Is is true? Yeah, yes. yeah. You are going to change the direct questions, the ones that I dictate to you, into indirect questions. Do you know? I wonder. Okay. I de do you know where is the uh, where where is mm -mm. Uh, Pala, the port, the sport palace is there. You go, very good. Mm -hmm. Asking someone else, right? Yes, uh, the first one, for example, yeah. are you British mm -hmm. or American? Mm -hmm. mm, I, I, I put, could you ask Mariana if she is British or American? Beautiful, okay, yes. you, yeah, can you. Are we done? Okay. No? Practicing? No. Uh, I try to okay. we practice but Nice, uh, nice. Okay. My, uh, I confuse the the activity. Why? Uh, is uh, only respond the the question or or okay you use... uh, the direct questions that i dictated to you you are going to change mm -hmm. them into indirect questions do you know i wonder could you ask ah, okay someone mm -hmm. okay okay thank you okay go ahead okay hi me <laughs> Could you could you ask if she is British or have you been to Ruatan before? Can you can you tell me? Tell me. Can you tell me if you have you been? Have been. Uh -huh. In to to, to Ruatan before because it's a place. True. Because it's a place, yes. yes. What's your name? This is difficult. <laughs> cool. mm, I don't know. Adriana. Adriana. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? But no, but no, no, no. That sounds silly. If you put uh, a name and you are asking for a name, can you ask her? Her, what's her name? Oh, but but can you ask her what's her name? It sounds. It, what 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 her name is? Her name. Is. No. Or or you can say, uh, could you ask um, Pepe her. what? Um, what his wife's name is, for example. Mm. Yeah, but in, in in this in this example, I think use her twice mm -hmm. is not okay. Yeah, it so sounds maybe repetitive. Could right? you? Yeah, could could you ask what her name is? Right. Yeah, sounds better. Uh huh. So the first one, yeah. Could you ask what her name is? But yeah, could you ask who? Could you ask mm. her? It is important. What is? Okay, could no, you ask sorry. Peter? Could you ask uh, Peter what her name is? Ah, okay. Right? Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, we're done, right? Good. Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we're here. Very nice. That was more than three minutes, but you were practicing. It was really nice. Ok. 
okay, we're coming back, yes? Okay, let's begin. Let's say, Julio, can you please um, ask someone, I mean, you mentioned the, um, or you read the first question and you decide who's going to change that question. Can you please do it? Okay. The question number one was, are you British or American? Okay, who's going to change that? Can you ask Julio if he is British or American? Okay, can you ask Julio if he is British or American? Very good, okay. Now you decide who's next. Select one person, one volunteer. Uh, I did. Okay, I did. Can you please uh, read the second question? Okay. Do you know where the police station? Um, okay, you are giving us uh, a different example, right? Can you please repeat? Other example? No, no, repeat the same example. Know. Okay. Okay. Do you know where the police station of a pop up, for example? Okay. Where the police station the is, side. right? You need the verb the at the end. Is. No. Do you know where the police station is? Right, Aiden? You know, okay. Do you know where the police station is? Yes, there you go. Very good. Okay. Miss Lea, can you please uh, do number two? The other questions? Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, the ones yeah. that we... Teacher, can you tell me how old are you? <gasps> My goodness. <laughs> that was not in the dictation, Miss Lea. <laughs> okay, very good. good. Nice example. <laughs> okay. Um, Herbert, can you please? Which how one? old I'm you sorry. are. How old you are, right? Miss Lea? I, I'm, I'm how old you to... are. Yes, good. Okay, Herbert? Please. Thank you. I'm supposed to answer the question or what? No, no, no. Can, Give us can an you can you tell me if he came by train? Nice. There you go. Very good. If he came by train. Yes, good. Okay. Herbert, another one. For the I'm sorry, I'm I'm kinda lost. Are we asking for an, a specific question or we are using the, whatever? Yeah. Okay. The question that the teacher dictated. Yes. The, we yeah, were, yeah, yeah. We were going I, to use them, but if you have original ones, that's perfect, right? Because the idea is that you use your English. Okay. So if you want to use one of the ones that we worked before, that's great. If you want to use an original one, perfect. Welcome. All right. Um, I was. I was thinking about the, the first one when, when you say, okay. are, are you British or American? Okay. So I came with, uh, could you ask him if he is from France? Okay, if he is from France, right? Good, very good. Super nice. Okay, thank you. Um, do I have another volunteer? The last one? Thank you. Um, okay. Okay, Manuel and then Alma Brisa. Okay? Manuel, thank okay. you. Manuel? Excuse me? <laughs> you said me, right? Huh? You said me. No. No. Oh, oh okay. okay. Oh my the, God, I'm sorry. Okay. Number, the Why? number four. Okay, uh, number four, I, Alma Brisa. Uh, okay, the, do you know is... Jaime, have you been with Okay, do you know if Jaime have been in Roatan? Has, has been in Roatan? Has been to Roatan. To, yes, yes, to Roatan. Good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Do you so, know what her name is? Do you know what her name is? Very good. Yes, very good. Very good. Super nice. 
Okay. Or for example, number five, uh, Jaime, can you tell me your name? And Jaime, can you tell me? Okay, can you tell me? Is, but that's... What is your name? What that, is your name? What that, is your that, name? That's the same that happened to me. If, if you know his name, you cannot ask. Yes, because you're name. saying Jaime. You already what know his the name. answer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Saying, or you can ask for someone else's name, right? You can ask Jaime uh, okay. about someone else's name. Okay. Right? Okay. Oh. Very good. Okay. Um, we are going to pause here, right? Because of time. Uh, remember, for this weekend, I need you to continue working on the platform and I need you to please uh, finish sections one, two, three and go uh, to the midterm test, right? If we have some uh, details about the test or any other exercise, we can go over them this coming Monday, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Work see on the platform you. and see you Monday. Okay? okay. Thank you. Have a good night. See you. See you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.